Get some old uh, high, high brand underwear. You know, don't see me consistent like to be gangster rapper that wearing polo and shit. I'm just sorry to me. That's another shit. That's ten. See, you killing That's my show. 10. That's see, ten. See, in my segment, I'm allowed to say he goes 10. buck wild. Okay. Well, this is because I can't. You the one bringing gangster. <laughs> He's not. Tat, well, whatever tattoo dudes <laughs> with a cross and polo underwear. It just seems inconsistent to me with roughneckism to be wearing polo undies. I'm sorry. It just ain't gangster enough. You, oh, so you want him to be a little bit more gangster? I'm just saying that's just a gangster wearing some old polo I, underwear. Uh, okay, so I can't wait to hear your number. <laughs> Look at him, he's looking close. <laughs> he's looking real close. He's trying to find. I'm trying to read his tattoos because see, now I can read tattoos. Right. Okay, and you can judge people by the tattoos and how they do their tattoos. Right. Because some tattoos really are, you know, so I, I, I don't know. I know he tried to color coordinate his tattoos with a jacket. <laughs> and he, like, he got some artful hairdo, okay. too. So, you know, a, man. <laughs> you look at he's trying to be. I know it's hard. It's a different it? picture. It sure is, bro. I still have an issue with the brow polo. Okay. But I'm going to give him an 8.5. He'd give him an 8.5. He's, All a, right. he's at least as good as Vampire. <laughs> Vampire man. Whatever. That's what I'm saying. Super, you, super booper. Right. You you you're looking at it for different. I'm reasons. just saying. Just, okay. I don't get them polo underwear, man. <laughs> okay. Let me tell you. All right. First of all, you know that's like if he said got milk. Uh, yeah. No. No. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I got agree. Milk. Look, dude. I agree. Look. I, the the picture. Look. I, I think there could be a better picture. I don't know what the message is. Like you said, it, it it caught me by surprise. And I said, you know, when Allen Iverson was playing in the NBA and he had tattoos everywhere, basically he said he was he making a statement. Better. He, he looked better. His looked right. better, though. Right, I agree. I'm well, not saying it did. I, I, I was trying to read the tats, though, because I would give you a good score if the tats have a theme, but I just can't get enough out of it. And you know what? This may be body art and not the tattoos because, you know, sometimes we It looks a red. little random. It may be body art. They can, he, he, he He's just yeah. sending a different message. Like so, they did some of right. that in prison. <laughs> okay, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. Okay, I'm gonna give. Uh, look, I'm gonna give the brother because I thought he could do a little bit more, but I knew what was happening when this picture was snapped, taken. And the Ralph Lauren polo is a controversial thing against the message he's sending because it seems like he's going corporate. So it's no big deal. I'm gonna give him. Um, I gotta give him eight point two, dude. Eight. No less than me. Yes, I am. All right. So what did you like? Well, you know what it was. It's the idea that I didn't want. I, I, it was the message of the picture as it relates to the hood i was looking at the hood with the tats and i'm going people with a lot of tats i don't don't know if they would wear the hood like this i'm just i don't see it and the ralph lauren got me i was going okay this is not quite how when people wear tattoos they like to show them all period and the hood and all that to me i was going man you either going to have nothing at the top probably a wife beater or something like they made me wear that stuff oh whatever whatever hey you know hey what can i say all right, well, okay. No, not bad, not bad. We, you know, we had to go there for a reason, man. Well, what was the reason? Everybody has diversity right. in their program. But now it's time to go to Lupe V. I'm doing push-ups and holding my breath. Now, you can tell he's holding his breath because look at the like testament. he's waiting for somebody to sneak up behind him. <laughs> do that tailgating. <laughs> Violate your proxemics. Okay, now, now it's remember. a little too close. Now, I'm going to give props to something before you go there. He's holding his breath Lewis, to relax that sphincter. No, Louis Raphael <laughs> Photography, All he has some, a body of work that's very good. His name is very well known. So he's getting props for this because of the type of shot. Now, I don't know how unique the shot is, Mario. You just have to let well, me know. Well, his legs look a little pale, but uh, maybe, you know, but otherwise, that's a little, that's something that looks a little weird. The right. upper body looks fantastic. It's, right. You know, obviously in great shape. Right. Uh, it's a little soft, you know, that's okay. Yeah. And then in the legs, you know, look, the legs look pale. I'm trying to get over the legs. <laughs> Go and Photoshop the legs so they don't look so pale. Oh, so now you want them to Photoshop. I'm just saying, look at the legs, Vic. The legs look really pale compared to the rest of it. Boy, well, yeah. I know it's hard to even out your tone, you know. I'm just saying. So, but he, obviously the guy's a, a good looker. And he may be the best looking one so far. There you go. So, you know, even if he does, like, he has a sphincter tone of minus six. <laughs> That means he better not laugh too hard. All right. Anyway, I give him, I give him, I give him a. Uh, uh, he's definitely a. 
He's a 10. Dang, you give him a 10, huh? Yeah. Oh, you better than I am. Okay, look. I, I'm, I'm, I'm generous a, today. I tried to look at, first of all, I was trying to look at the, what's the message here, and then usually the message is the same. Look at me, I'm, I'm, you know. I'm potentially gay? No, okay. I, see, you went to some place that I wasn't going there. I I'm wasn't saying some photos, if, okay. No, no, I was going to the message. It's okay, that, I'm just saying some photos, ha- if you're not gay, you're giving gay vibes. And you're right. And I'm going to the commercial. And I say it's okay. Well, first of all, let me just be real right there. Try Almost, to imagine him in a, a blonde of, wig. It's a lot of men <laughs> who are professionals in modeling who are gay. That's no we secret. That. We know that. So I don't even worry about it. I go like, this is the world that you guys are in. Mo- I got to put the men in there. Bottom but line, I only that. use it in reference to the same way that I use the brothers not smiling. Right. It it represents a genre of photo. Right. I agree. So that means a gayish man. Right. Is a plus or minus depending what you're I looking you. at. Just like a brother doing the hard or not right. hard gangster thing. Right. Whenever you do something that's kind of ethnic. Right. Whether the F, when I say ethnic, I'm using it in a very broad sense, not just ethnic, but yeah. people who represent a culture, a subculture. Yeah. Then, you know, it's in there. You just have to, these three, you just deal with. It. Yeah. And I agree with you, Mar, because the part is, but look, we're, we're, we're reviewing fashion and models, a place where a lot of men don't dwell. Real, well, when we say the, real men don't dwell well, commercially the way we would like for the industry to be. No, to because remember the girls criticized my man yesterday that I rated high because right. they said he was too pretty. Right, right. And, and I, they really put him down for being too pretty. And I agree with what they're saying. I mean, they like, saying. cut him. I mean, right. like, I was like, right. at least he's pretty. How do you give him a four if he's pretty? Because, he's too pretty. Because women... Down to four? <laughs> the bad boy image in modeling is not there in that industry. Fashion does not represent the bad boy image, which women like, especially younger women. Say, give me somebody with some edge. Give me somebody who... Well, I mean, they, they rated that guy. Yeah. It was obviously a very attractive man. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I hear. They you. gave him only because they, they gave said him, he was so soft. Yeah, looking. I know, I know. All right, all right. Well, wait, but we both agree. It's it's something that's a little bit different. Just it's in the flavor. Yeah, just like if you okay, people may not like you in the picture for being soft man. Right, that's, so, that's a feminine type of man. Right, and the same way they may not like the brothers for doing the regular old, you know, like <laughs> regular old black man pose. <laughs> all right. Okay, well, you know what? Okay, I learned. I, I learned gave, to do the o- OJ from the 80 pose. That's cold, man. That's cold. All right. you gave <laughs> So you gave him a 10. So I'm a look. He's I'm a handsome throw, cat. It's a I'm good a, picture. I'm going to throw in, look, for the most part, you know, I just say he's showing muscles. It's a muscle shot, not anything unique. I don't know about the haircut and everything else, but hey, look. Bottom line. It looks like Fez from the I, 70 show. That's cold. See, I'm not going to talk to you, brother. I'm leaving that alone. And I'm, you know, he's I'm, got a soft. I'm gonna give, no, I'm giving him an 8, man. I'm going to give him an 8. He's okay. Eight. He's an 8. He's an 8. eight. Yep. That ain't great. Nope. But you participate. <laughs> there we go. We want to review? Hate. Got a review, yeah, man. Review. It's time to review. Who we going to pick our number one for the man, brother? We All already right. know. Here we got Fez from the 70s show. <laughs> Pac-Man. Oh, there was this brother. Don't know if he's ghetto, <laughs> uh, gangster, or polo. And then we got super villain. Out of these two, I'll take Fez. You, I'll take number All one. Only fault with him is he got that loose sphincter tone. Well, look, I, I'm a at Pac, Pac-Man. Okay, you could have came with the tats. It just you could have done something else with it. But, and Superman. But if I had to be an agent and had to represent potential on uh, somebody who can probably make it, I would go Jack. Jack can make money. Okay, well, that's Jack, Jack and so I took Smack. Yeah. There okay, then for so the women all, all right. around the way. I already know what you. Oh, prepared. nasty, nasty! <laughs> I just want to bathe her. And just put her in the tub with bubble bath. Nadia. And look at her and then rub her down. Some women, you want to massage them. Right. And then just kiss all over them. That's Nad- all. Nad- Nadia. Oh, and this one is fine, too. If you just leave her relatives at home. Sexy lips. And tell them that yard scares her brother away. I look at those lips. That's brother. right. But if I have to pick you up at this house, <laughs> I'm telling you, I know you're bringing them all over my house on the weekend. <laughs> Okay, she's fine. I might have to go with her. Are you going with number because, one? Because you know what? You know what? But still, cause I, but I got to at least date her for a while. <laughs> but I think I might marry this one. You might marry that one. Well, I would love to date her too, but just, just she going to bring all that family, well, man. Well, since I come from they, the community that have yards fine. like that, I'm going to go with number two. Because I believe representing the community of yards, I'm going with number two. I'm going to have your baby. See, that's wrong, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Marjorie. That's what she look like don't round let, the way. Don't let that she's yard dressed for a role. mess with you. She's she looked like she's ready for a scene with Lil Bow Wow. Now it's Bow Wow. Ain't little no more. She looked like she's ready for a scene my, with Bow Wow. My hot picks are over. I'm not gonna let him just step on you. Everybody, I'm done. I'm done, that's man. Hot picks. hot picks. Give me give me the yell and the scream and everything, man. That's wrong. I can't believe you. St- 
a yard. Man.